am so excited to finally be sitting down to film my gift guide for beauty lovers. And this video was so fun to put together and I have a ton of stuff to show you. And I think pretty much everything except maybe two or three things are gifts that I'm actually giving to my friends and family. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I do any Christmas shopping, I like to take a piece of paper and write down the name of every single person that I'm shopping for. And then I will start to brainstorm ideas and that helps me stay organized. And I do have it pretty easy because most of my friends like skincare and makeup like I do. And my favorite gifts to give are when I really love a product. It's fun to go out and buy that product and give it to somebody else and to kind of pass along that excitement. So this year I started using a lot of Leilani skincare items. So my friend Karen, I got her two face products. I got her their honey microdermabrasion three-in-one mask cleanser and exfoliator and I also got her their mermaid mask which is the first Leilani product that I've tried and I have loved everything since so that's for Karen and then for Sarah Sarah always compliments me when I wear my Leilani perfume so I got her one in the scent Picake and then I also got her one of the coconut infusions in the scent Puakini tuberose and I love these but I've had a couple people ask me about them because yes they are coconut oil based so for your house is a little chilly like mine they will solidify so my kind of solution to that is to store them in the shower not in the direct water spray but I just keep them in the shower so when I'm showering the steam will heat this up and it will turn back into a liquid so it's really easy to apply so both of these products I really hope these girls like them as much as I do One of my favorite blushes is Dior Rosy Glow. And a few weeks ago, my mom was saying, oh, you always talk about that blush. Maybe I should get it. I think I might like it. So I tucked that away so that when the Sephora VIB sale rolled around and I had 20% off, I bought this for her. And I can't wait to see her wear it. And I think it's gonna be really pretty with her complexion. And then something else I've been liking lately is the Paula's Choice Resist Moisture Renewal Oil Booster. And this is an argan oil blend that I put on before I put on my moisturizer. And it just does what it says as an extra boost of hydration and I concentrated on my cheeks and across my forehead and it works really well for that and if you've watched my channel for a very long time you might remember that it's my gammy my mom's mom who turned me on to Paula's Choice skincare and she has remained faithful to Paula's Choice for years and still gets excited every time they release a new product so I had brought over my bottle of this to her house for her to try and she applied a few drops and said oh it feels so good and then I left the room for some reason. And when I came back in, she was just slathering it all over her arms. I was like, oh wait, this is something that we use sparingly. So I think she's really gonna like this. So I'm excited to give both of these products to them. Now let's move on. Let's do a couple of the Sephora kits. You know how some people have a signature look, maybe like a perfectly applied red lip or a smoky eye, and they wear it so often you start to associate it with that person. That is how it is with my cousin Jenny and winged liner. She wears it pretty much every day and she has it like down to a science it's always perfect so when I saw this kit at Sephora it reminded me of her it's called draw the line and it's a set of um, black liners and from brands like Sephora's house brand Marc Jacobs NARS Urban Decay Stila and Kat Von D so I thought this was a really fun way for her to try a lot of different liners I feel like I have just talked to death this holiday set from Bite Beauty and I mentioned it in every video but it's because I really like it and I wish I could buy one for everybody because it's such a great value and I love how creamy these high pigment lip pencils are and the colors are just gorgeous so that I think this is my favorite holiday set that Sephora came out with let's switch gears for a second and talk about male beauty lovers for my dad I got him this Sephora favorites the leading man fragrance sampler kit for him and I thought this was such a cool idea so inside the box you get a shaving cream sample as well as four pretty good sized cologne samples and once he tries out all the different colognes he gets to choose his favorite so let's say he likes this Gucci one inside this box is a voucher and he can take that voucher back to Sephora and get a full size of the Gucci bottle which I thought was such a cool idea so it is a gift but then it's also custom and he gets to make the final choice.
My other gift idea for a man is actually inspired by Jeremy because for the first time since we've been married and probably since we've known each other since high school, he has taken a very slight interest in his skin. And he's been using a couple products from Polish Choice and they actually have a really nice gift set from their Polish Choice for Men line up on their website. And it comes in this nice travel bag. So I'm gonna open it up and show you what comes inside. Inside is just full of products. Jeremy's two favorites so far are the shave cream and he also uses the Soothe and Smooth. And he uses this, I think it's a chemical exfoliator because he gets little bumps along his jawline after shaving. And he says these two work amazing. He's also tried a few samples of the face wash that he really likes. And then you also get a morning SPF 30 moisturizer as well as a nighttime repair moisturizer. If you're wondering what to get the super beauty enthusiast and you're thinking, how am I supposed to find a lipstick shade or a blush shade that she doesn't already own? I think subscription services are a really good idea because they're getting fresh new products in the mail every month. And in the past, I've given the gift of Birchbox and Julep, but my current favorite subscription service is Petit Vor. And I haven't gotten my November box yet, but I've seen some unboxings and it looks really good. I do have October's to show you today. This is a cruelty-free subscription service that features natural products. And I have gotten three, three or four Petit Vor boxes so far, and I have yet to be disappointed. I think the the brands they choose to work with and the size of the samples are amazing. So I think this would be a fantastic gift idea. Last, I wanna show you a few smaller gift ideas. When I was placing my order for the VIB sale, I saw this little kit from Butter London and just randomly it had two polishes in it that were on my wish list, and they're only $15 for the set and they're full size. So it's basically like getting one polish for free. So inside you get the Polish Tramp Stamp, which they're calling an opaque red brown chocolate cream and the 444, which is a full coverage champagne glitter. And I'm wearing both polishes on my hand today and I think they are beautiful and I'm so happy with this kit. So I think this would be perfect for a gift exchange or a girlfriend. You could also buy a gift set and then break it up and give it to multiple people. And First Aid Beauty kind of took the guesswork out of that for you. So you buy this box and inside are four individually wrapped ultra repair creams and they're individually wrapped really cute. So you could skip paper if you didn't want to. So it looks like this and there's even a place to write to and from. And the Ultra Repair Cream is just a great straightforward moisturizer and it's great for sensitive skin and a lot of people this time of year can use a little bit of extra moisture. Last, I have these really cute Bite Beauty ornaments. They are deluxe size lip product samples. I have a gloss in the shade Guava. I have a dual ended lipstick. One side is Retsina and the other side is Musk. And then my favorite is the matte lip pencil in the shade Glacé, which I'm wearing today underneath a gloss. And I think these would be perfect for a coworker or they would make a really good stocking stuffer. Okay, that is it. And I really hope this video was helpful as you go out to shop for the beauty lovers in your own life. And I love this time of year, but I know it's hard when there are so many people to shop for and you wanna get everyone really nice gifts. So I wanna be able to help out one subscriber with their Christmas shopping. And as I was putting together this video and I knew the products I was gonna share, I reached out to a few of the brands and asked if they would be willing to donate a product to a prize package. And everyone that I emailed said yes, which is just amazing. And I really get to work with the nicest brands. And this prize package is pretty awesome. So let me go ahead and show you what all includes. One subscriber will win a one month subscription to Petit Vore. So you can see if you like it as much as I do. You will also get a First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And then something I'm pretty jealous about because I haven't even tried this yet is the Leilani Skincare Picake, Picake Body Butter, which I'm sure is awesome and smells really good. And then from Paula's Choice, you will get their brand new Resist Moisture Renewal Oil Booster. I have to work on that name and get it down, but I love this and I'm so excited that one of you will be able to try it. And then Polish Choice also very generously included a full set of that men's skincare line. So every product that I showed you as well as one of the travel bags, which is amazing. And then from me, last week I was in my Sephora and they got a brand new shipment of the Bite Beauty Holiday Set. So if you still haven't gotten it, here is one more chance to win it. So if you're interested in entering, I'm gonna have a link to my blog down below and it's so easy to pop on over and enter really quick. But I think that is everything for me today. I hope this video was helpful. I'm gonna see you really soon. I'm actually not gonna be uploading on Wednesday. My new video will go up on Tuesday and it's a fun one, so I will see you then. Bye.